Hello, hello everybody, and welcome to Bookend Gaming. I'm Eric, and I'm going to be doing something a bit different for today's video. This is of course Madden, and it's the newest installment, Madden 20. Though it's not the 20th entry in the series, and the lack of an apostrophe is a pet peeve of mine. Much better. Wait, there's already a Madden 25? Oh, it came out in 2013. Logically. And yes, I know it was for the 25th anniversary of the game. But what's gonna happen in 2024?! This is madness! I'm going to be using the game to show off something that a lot of people might not know. If you liked today's video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, whatever. It all helps us out a lot. Now, if you're a random stat slash fact guy like myself, then you often find yourself thinking about weird statistical anomalies or using Google all the time to find the answers to the stupidest questions. Like this. I wonder what Disney character has the highest kill count. Wow, Mulan killed almost 2,000 people. What a badass. <laughs> yeah, the guys at work love when I do that. So when it comes to the NFL, there are all sorts of strange statistics and numbers, such as the Texans beating the Steelers 24-6 in 2002, despite being dominated in pretty much every area of the game. Ah, that's why. Or the Chiefs in 2014, completing the entire season without ever throwing a touchdown to a wide receiver. <laughs> that is crazy. They still finish the season with a winning record. Anyways, I could look at random stat lines like that all day, but what I wanted to show you today involves a very weird, unknown to most, point rule. There have been five games in NFL history to end 2-0. Surprisingly, it's never happened in the last 80 years, and they all occurred in the 20s and 30s. However, there was a Monday night game between the Steelers and Dolphins that ended 3-0. The field had just been redone, and it rained very heavily. There was literally a point in the game where a punt stuck directly into the ground. Of course, this makes one think. Wouldn't it be funny if a team could win with one point? Bing! Well, no, it can't happen. <laughs> because the only way one point can be scored is by the same team after scoring a touchdown, right? WRONG! There is another way, and it's called the One Point Defensive Safety. The game can't end 1-0, however, because, yes, it can only happen after a team scores a touchdown. The other team can score the one point, though, and the end of game 6-1. Whoa, settle down, Julian Edelman. No need to get all glitchy. I'll show you how. Now they would have to go for two. But hold up, if the team intercepts the ball and returns it all the way down the field, they get two points. So how is this possible? Here we are at the two yard line. Now it looks like we would have to somehow lose 98 yards. And I know what you're thinking, that would never happen. And yeah, you're probably right. But it's not too far-fetched to believe that a team could say, throw an interception while going for two, but before the person who intercepted the ball makes it to the end zone, he starts to run out of juice. And the team who threw the pick tackles him and causes the returner to fumble the ball into the end zone and recover it themselves before the intercepting team downs them in the end zone. I don't know about you, but I would love to see this happen at some point in my life. The only thing is, most teams won't go for two unless the way that the game is going dictates that they should. But let's say that a team is up 6-0, to zero, scores a touchdown to go up 12-0, to zero, and wants to make that an even 14. So they go for two. Then this crazy anomaly occurs, and the score is now 12-1. to one. Unlikely to ever happen, yes, but it is a rule, and I would love to see it happen in my lifetime, as I'm sure you would too. Thank you for watching, everybody, and we hope you enjoyed the video, and we hope to see you next time. Goodbye!